when training with the goal to build muscle, one of the things you want to do is recruit and fatigue as many muscle fibers as possible. That's no secret. That's the common denominator to any program ever that has produced results. The program consisted of methods or means of recruiting and fatiguing as many muscle fibers as possible without overworking that particular individual's capacity to recover. Now, there are many different training methods out there. Some are better suited for recruiting muscle fibers and some are better suited for fatiguing them. And rarely will you find a method that is um, effective for both recruiting and fatiguing. Obviously, adjustments will have to be made uh, to the amount of weight that you're using to facilitate recruitment or fatigue, but there are methods that can be used for both. And two of the more common or popular ones or effective ones that I know of are drop sets and the rest pause set, also known as clusters, if you use a heavy enough weight. Now, <clears throat> as a recruitment method, a drop set can be very effective because when you perform a regular set, the last rep and only the last rep can be classified as a maximum voluntary contraction because every rep before that could not be considered a maximal voluntary contraction because if it was maximal, you wouldn't be able to do another rep. And because you're able to do another rep, it's not uh, a maximal voluntary contraction or an MVC, but the last one is. So what a drop set enables you to do is that when you perform a maximal voluntary contraction and you can no longer perform any other reps, you reduce the, the, the weight that you're using and you continue repping out until you perform another maximal voluntary contraction. And a maximal voluntary contraction, as you might have guessed, is one in which recruitment is maximized. That's why it's maximal. So drop set can be used for that purpose. Now the rest pause method is very similar in that, once again, the last rep being a maximal voluntary contraction, at that point, you stop, you wait 10, 15 seconds, whatever it is, and then you perform another one. So you will have performed two maximal voluntary contractions in succession, uh, very near each other within a short uh, period of time. And those are two ways to use those methods as a means of recruiting as many muscle fibers as possible. Now, <clears throat> depending on how much weight you use and how many reps you do, you can easily use those same methods to maximize fatigue because once you perform a maximal voluntary contraction and you can no longer perform any more uh, efforts, obviously you'll have reached failure or uh, also known as fatigue. By pushing beyond that and extending the time under tension, you will obviously be maximizing uh, the fatigue component of the recruit and fatigue framework that is necessary to build muscle. So those two methods and those two methods alone that I can think of uh, can be used interchangeably to both recruit and exhaust as many muscle fibers as possible.